What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath2501 here uh, with something as you can see a little bit different. Okay, this is .hackgu last recode. This is actually all of the .hackgu games, volumes 1 through 3 and an additional fourth game which was unfinished. Uh, I'm doing this on my main channel because I'm asking you guys, if, this is going to be like a little preview thing. If you guys think that I should play through this on this my main channel and my game channel you know until I play through all the games you guys can see all the story um, to give you guys an idea of what this is like um, if you've ever seen Sword on a Line this one is like the one that started it all with that well, not specifically actually the one that started all was the one before this just called Dot Hack but this is kind of like what it was about alright so I'm just gonna show you guys like the beginning parts of the game a new game Let's see. You can do cheat mode, so it you just start off with, like, you know, you know, start with, you just want to enjoy the story. So also let me know what you want me to do. If you want me to see the play of the game normally, or if you want me to do it in cheat mode, just so you guys can see the whole story of what the hell's going on, alright? Alright, so let's get this party started. Burr. Yeah, see, this is like this is like one of the most anime video games like in existence. <clears throat> Eternal City Mac Anu I mean I actually have all of the GU and the dot hacks for the original PlayStation 2. That's what they were PlayStation 2 games. And the dot .hack games are super, super rare and really hard to come by. Especially the first one. Oh my god. You look at the line for that thing? Oh my god. It's really hard to find. It goes for hundreds of dollars sometimes. Not always, but sometimes you pops up there and you see it's like got a $300 price tag. Wow, this is cool. One thing that gets me about this is that these characters are supposedly... Hey, these people... The adept rogue are supposedly playing this game kind of like how I am, with a controller and a VR headset. You know, and they're moving, their, like, that's how they move their characters, with buttons. Yet the characters move in very dynamic and, your first time and you know, game. personal ways. Yeah. Especially in the cutscenes. But supposedly what you yeah, see in the cutscenes is what they're supposed to be seeing through the game throughout the whole time. To show you around. Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh, that sounds creepy. I need an adult. <laughs> All right, it is. There's a lot of midriff showing in this game too, by the way. I'll hand you my member Lots address. Lots of it. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. Yeah, that's the name of the game they're playing short called the World. As lazy as that to is. Instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. Yeah, I forgot this game had this tutorial section. That you have member addresses for to join into your party. All right, so let's open the menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
stock of words. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, and forums. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Choose courageous from your stock. Okay, courageous. Engaging, daydream. Okay. A now level one area. Your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing... Yeah, you actually get more Delta. servers as you go through the game. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta. If it's a different server, pay attention to the server symbol. If you want to know more, just check out some of the... All right. Then we're off... Initiate warp. really complicated game are they not looking at me usually they like motion around them my sword fears oh yeah see once the battle begins the battle area the battle area is surrounded by the battle fence so it's worth the only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a Asta and I don't have one right now so we'll have to fight it out Hey, you're not too bad. Not so difficult, huh? It's basically just button mashing. Yeah, keep it up. Yeah, that's certain items have different abilities when you either hold it down or you tap it repeatedly. It. Just continue fighting like that. Trigger attack, combo attack, change attack. Control or guarding circle. Yeah. Damn it, little pricks. Okay, they're both level 10, so that, that was easy for them. The levels I get in this, right here in this part, don't even matter. He opens it by kicking it. Okay, where's it? Where was I going? Yeah, I was going that way. All right, we found another. I'll teach you about using skills to attack. We got him. The regular and combo attacks skills enable you to... Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger menu. Do you see the four panels? You can press the button that corresponds to each panel. Now yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn play! Alright, perfect. 
The skill trigger is not... It can also be used to stop enemy. Aren't you forgetting something? There is an even more... Of course I haven't forgotten. Rengeki. Okay. Yep, yeah, see? There you go. That's all stuff you add on. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? That's a good idea. Alright, Haseo. It's all up to you now. That was nothing. You actually get a XP bonus for when you do the Rengeki attacks. Basically, it's just either doing the break when their guard break is up, or when the enemy is about to use an ability, you can counter it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually can even get a bicycle, a bike in this game. It allows you to move around a lot faster. Your life belongs to me. Friggin' assholes, man. I only have that one ability right now. I'll get more later. One thing I actually love to do is you can actually, uh... You can actually put an enemy up against the wall and they'll bounce off of it, and you can actually juggle them. It's actually kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, though, what happens to me right now really, really doesn't matter. I mean, it's like the true essence yeah, of a tutorial. Awesome job. All right. Let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at the look at the environment. That's pretty cool. It's like a big old tower in the distance. There's another one over there, and there's that thing. I mean, that looks pretty cool. It's, they stopped showing me her ass for a minute. I mean, seriously. I mean, she doesn't. In terms of asses in this game, she doesn't even rank in the top five. <laughs> Like I said, there's quite a bit of fan service in this game, so take that into a consideration when you guys are thinking of whether or not I should keep uh, playing this game. You'll see it on this channel and my game channel. I mean, these games are, are quite long, so... Of course, I'll do all the grinding off-camera. You guys won't have to see that. Or if you want, I could just do the, the um, story version if you guys want. I mean, there's just so much in this game. You can tell, this but there's the, the problem is, is there's a lot in this game that you can see, but you can't touch. We just call it and the, the anime statue. of this game, of course, of but this I game's, the, game story, the animes, to be an make it seem something. way more interactive than what you get in the you game. So it's like, you can see a lot of stuff, That's but you can't touch. To the beast statue. There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Go ahead yeah. and open it, Haseo. You sure? Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. Oh, they're so friendly, aren't they? So much foreshadowing. Dry sash. Thanks. Uh huh. What the? The items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. Face it, an idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. Hey, hold on. I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? After all... <laughs> 
Where the hell was she keeping that? <laughs> like, where was she keeping that? Really, dude? How do you fall down in a game like this? Oh, you guys must see, think you're so badass. You're both level 10, you're taking on someone who's, well, now level 2. And you guys think you're all kinds of hot shit, you know? These people, people like this are basically closet psychopaths who would love to commit murder in real life, but they don't have the balls for it. So they play these games like this and they kill people in games. Assholes. I don't think you feel pain in the game, so it's kind of dumb when they... I always think it's kind of dumb when they act like that. How pathetic. He's level 2. You're level 10. You've got way better gear. I mean, what the hell do you think? You freaking jack off. Come on. Say something already. Hello. I swear. Just pretend to be their friend. Fall all over themselves to let you PK them. <laughs> hey, you're still around, aren't you, kid? <laughs> Beach. You just got shot. Oh God. Oh, and he goes down into the abyss hole. Nice. game you realize it could be an awesome game if it was a real game but the game you're playing in the game but it's it's people people make things into it's just assholes see he got some upgrades huh and look at this look at this there's what there were three of them there's like 15 of them and they gang up on them yep, there's some more of that fan service i told you about He's also become kind of, well, more than kind of a dick, because he doesn't even try to help them. His only goal is to kill these pricks, not to help people who are being bullied. You get to see how far he's come, though. Yeah. So as you see, he's also got a reputation. As an adept rogue, which is his class, he can use different kinds of weapons where other classes are limited to only one kind. He also can use magic, which most, some other classes can't. Only specific classes can learn magic. The downside, though, however, is that he can't level up his proficiency in weapons very quickly. It actually takes forever. And this is why he's called the Terror of Death. Oh shit. Nice. See, obvious OP protagonist here.
Nice. Though, just to be noticed, chainsaws are not always the answer. Nor is more chainsaws. Or chainsaw cannons. Except for that one time, and yes, it was awesome. <laughs> Out of that whole group, she's the only one still standing. I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. That was at hey, the same time, by the way. On, don't look at me like that. Here, let me apologize. So just take it easy, calm down, and die! Really? Bitch? Did you think he was going to fall for that? Do you know Triedge? What did you say? He's a legendary PK shrouded in blue fire. You'll see him later. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. Huh? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you actually believe that crap. Those old forum fairy tales. So, you think you can go up against me, the great Bordeaux, and just walk away like nothing happened? Uh, dude, uh, did you not realize your situation? In case you're wondering, he cut her head off. Dad asked him. <laughs> yeah, I think I can. I do like that armor. We're gonna keep going. We still got a little bit more that I want to show you guys. Ah, scratch. Mr. Dark and Brooding Master of Pain going on there. Yeah, this is kind of like supposed to be set in like a steampunk setting. So it's you. You, the character that stinks of death. The terror of death. You're the PKK, Haseo. Players who kill other players are disgraceful. And I agree it's terrible how PKs can just yeah. strut around the world so easily these days. But is it right that you PKKs have chosen to use brute force to stop them? I don't have time for this. Not now. You have no authority, and it earns you nothing. So why? I am the leader of Moon Tree's Unit 2. My friends call me Sakaki, and I'm afraid I can't... what should I call you? Actions. Oh! Did you say Moon Tree? What's that? The name of a guild? <laughs> Sorry, Sakaki, but I've already got enough friends. Thanks. Do you always interrupt people like that? You know, Sakaki wasn't finished talking to you yet. <sighs> yeah, she looks like... She looks like someone he he knew. That's that's a Atoli. whole story. That's also part of it. So. Uh, no. Atoli. It's not unusual to meet players with similar characters in an online game like this. Even though every aside from her, Just every single other identity. main character in this hey, game you, is completely unique. Just, huh? Nothing else. Nothing. Tell nobody else looks message. like them. Delta hidden forbidden waterfall waiting at RK Kelm but who sent it <gasps> Ovan Yeah there's that uh, look at that big old friggin thing he's got in his arm huh He didn't even use that when he killed those other two idiots Just hold on a moment What the god touch me Bitch? Why don't you stop acting like a complete fool? Remember, 
what you PKKs are trying to do. If you succeed, you'll be no different from the PKs themselves. You don't even know what he's trying to do, what his motivations are. You don't know him. Paseo, do you want to know about Triad? Wait, you know... You and I, we're the only ones who could possibly bring her back. We're the only ones. Man, he is so easily manipulated. Ovan? I'll meet you at the Holy Ground. There are some things I must do. Okay. This is all one massive cutscene. That's why I want to show you guys this. He will be back today at the scene of the crime. And this is actually a, a thing that's actually in the original set of games. I used to think that was part of his hair, but it's not. It's actually just like a a cape or something hanging off his armor or a tail or something it's it's really weird A girl? 
That's right. She was called Aura. Yeah, that's all backstory. I wonder why she this thing covers so much. Uh, at like three or four manga series, Maybe three or four animes, a few light novels, and a seven games. <laughs> There's a lot of story here, and what sucks is right after this, What's after the sound? GU part, gone. There was nothing about Dot Hack. Dot Hack just disappeared. Blue fire. Is that dry edge? He saw as strong as he was before and he just gets completely owned. Reformat. Back to level one. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. This is another aspect of the game. Check this out. Reboot complete. What the? I was fighting Tri-Edge. But then... Continuing it, process. I can't remember. You got knocked the fuck out. Huh? I don't remember doing that. Reformatted. What's going on? What about my emails? See, look, it's actually a PC. It's actually a whole PC uh, menu right here. The email. Huh? What the hell? I would never delete these. Even the emails I got from Shino. Everything's been reformatted. What the hell is going on? An email? Fine, let's take a look. 
Move on. See, you gotta go a lot of reading. You gotta go through all this. Trivial blah, blah, blah. And truth. Whether or not I should quit the world? You should know better, Ovan. I'm gonna go back to the world. And then I'm gonna get Shino back, no matter what. Let's see, where is it? News? See, look at this. There's a... There's actually a little anime series that's actually built into the game that you can check out. There's news things that talk about what's going on outside of the game. You know, I mean, there's just so much cool stuff. And there's the forums. There's actually a community forum in here. See? And these are threads that pop up all the time. This is a side game. Of course, it's a mini game inside the game called Crimson Versus. It's a card game. Different forms about events in the news. You can actually go to these. You can get more words. So you can go to different areas. Go to secret areas and special areas. You can actually get a lot of cool side quests. There's some actually really challenging side quests in this one. The Urban Legend, Forest of Pain. And this is a thing where you can actually download uh, new wallpapers. See? You download as a new wallpaper and you can make that part of your background. See? You have to look it up, like, closely. And there's another... Anyone with an exclamation point has, uh, artwork. But you should look at all of them, but like not, you don't have to really read them, but at least look at them because, um, you know, otherwise they'll always have that new thing, so you'll never know when a new thing comes up. Let's see what, other, what, what the other ones are. Oh, this one's got a bunch of them. Eh, Haseo. Yeah, people actually make artwork about you and things you do in the game. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, that's, that's kind of creepy. Nice. See, as I told you, lots of mid-drift. Yeah, that's a creature called the Chim. You're supposed to kick them around and stuff like that. See, that actually looks pretty cool. And yeah, see, that's actually pretty cool artwork right there, too. You can also, um, by doing certain uh, in-game challenges and stuff like that, you can actually get um, additional artwork that you can download. You can use it right here in the... Um, let's see. Oh, no, not the movie player. Accessories. Yeah, here we go. You can change the background music of the thing here. Check out all of the uh, different... Uh, You can get like different backgrounds and stuff like that. And when you get to when you go to the next game, you transfer your data from the old game, and uh, it by doing that you can also unlock additional stuff that you wouldn't be able to if you just played the game by itself. So it's just a lot of cool stuff. This game is super complex and super fun. I love it. I'm just gonna save right here over my level one spot with another level one spot. As you can see, I've played through this game before. I've played it a few times. You know, especially back in the PlayStation 2. So, that was uh, .hack GU last recode, guys. So, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to see it, play through this whole game. You guys want to see the whole story that's going on here. Including the fourth game, which only came out in this version. It, excuse me, didn't come out in the old PlayStation 2 version. In fact, it looks like an unfinished game that they never released. So, let me know if you guys want to see that, too. So, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, tune in every day for new content, and bye bye